All right, so get this. All right, what if your wallet could think for itself? And I don't mean like some kind of Apple Pay thing. I'm talking serious AI taking over your finances. And not just the way banks are already using it, you know, to like analyze your every purchase. This is about giving you, you that same power. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about, flipping the script. So we're going deep on this paper, right? By David Birch and Chrissy Rutter. Yeah, they're the ones making the case for this whole thing. AI could totally revolutionize how we deal with money, not just the banks, but us regular folks too. It's a huge shift. They even call it a paradigm shift. Like, remember when everyone thought the world was flat, that kind of big? Because for centuries, it's been the banks holding all the cards, right? Totally, they got yeah. our data, they tell us what's good for us. Exactly, but what if that was all about to change? Hold on, so you're saying instead of being at their mercy, we'd be on a level playing field. That's the idea. With AI getting so advanced, especially with, you know, Google and Apple getting in on it. Oh, right, right. We're about to have the same tools they do. So wait, like, I'm going to have my own personal AI financial advisor. Is it going to yell at me about avocado toast? Maybe, but <laughs> hopefully nicer about it. Think of it this way. The paper talks about how AI can already fly fighter jets. Like those F-16s. No way, really. AI is flying fighter jets now. Outperforming humans, even. Point <laughs> is, if it can handle something that intense, imagine what it could do for your money problems. Okay, that's both amazing and kind of scary. But hold on, we're talking about like a souped up budgeting app here or what? <laughs> Think bigger. What if it negotiated your bills for you? Found investment opportunities? Even helped you plan for like your dream life based on what you want. Okay, so a financial advisor that actually gets my beach house obsession. But seriously, is this even possible yet? Oh, <laughs> they mentioned chat GPT in the paper. Oh yeah, everyone's talking about that. And there's this story about it, get this, negotiating a lower bill for someone, yeah. like actually outsmarting a company's chat bot. It's wild, right? And it, that's just the beginning, it's not perfect yet, but still. Okay, I'm definitely more excited than scared now. Yeah. But hold on, if we've all got these AI advisors, what happens to banks? They just disappear. Good question. The paper suggests maybe they got to rethink their whole deal. Instead of just selling us stuff, what if they helped us actually achieve our goals? So instead of worrying about overdraft fees, they'd be like, hey, want to retire early, let's make a plan. That'd be nice. But how does that even work if our bots are calling the shots? All right, so we're back, and I gotta say, this future where my bank actually cares about my money goals, almost too good to be true. But of course, I've got questions. Hit me. Okay, so let's say I'm ready to hand over my financial life to some super smart AI. How do I know it's actually doing what's best for me, you know? We've all seen those sci-fi movies. Right, where the robots go rogue? Exactly, okay, <laughs> maybe not my Roomba, but still, trust is a big deal when it comes to money. How do we make sure these bots don't just become another way for companies to mess with us? That's the thing, right? It's not about them. It's about us being in control. The paper talks about this. Okay, so do we all need to become coders and build our own bots? Because, no offense, but... You don't need to learn Python. Good, because math is not my strong suit. It's about transparency. We need to be able to look under the hood, understand how the AI is making decisions. So no more black boxes where money goes in, Advice comes out, no explanation. Right. Imagine being able to ask your bot, hey, why'd you pick this investment? And it actually tells you in plain English. And if you don't like it, change the settings, set new goals, even switch bots entirely. So it's like having a conversation with it, kind of like you would with a human financial advisor, but less biased. And just like with a human advisor, you check their references. In this case, look for certifications, regulations, independent audits, all that good stuff. So it's not about banks going extinct. It's about them evolving. Becoming more transparent, focusing on trust. That's what this whole financial well-being thing is about, by the way. It's not just a buzzword. Right. We kind of glossed over that. What does it even mean in this context? Because right now, isn't it just about how much money you have? That's part of it, sure. But it's also about feeling in control, having the freedom to pursue what you want, peace of mind. Okay. I like the sound of that. But how do our AI buddies help us get there? Remember those F-16s. That's the power of AI. Your bot isn't just tracking your spending. It's analyzing everything. Income, expenses, goals, and it's coming up with a plan just for you. So it's like having a personal CFO who's always working on my beach house fund. And because it knows your risk tolerance, your values, your dreams. Which right now include ignoring my student loan debt. It can tailor its advice accordingly. Prioritize paying off debt. Find ethical investments. 
it's all possible. Okay, I gotta admit, this is sounding pretty good, but, you know, gotta play devil's advocate here. Okay. Any downsides to this whole AI future? What could go wrong? So we back, because yeah. my head's still spinning a bit from all this. AI financial advisors, banks actually being helpful. It's a lot. It is a pretty radical vision of the future, yeah. But that's what we're here for, right? To like really think this stuff through. And I gotta say, I'm still a little, what could go wrong here? Always a good question to ask. Like, sure, let's say I hand over the keys to my financial life, right? To this AI. How do I know it's working for me, not against me? Ah, uh, the old robot uprising fear. <laughs> Understandable. Hey, don't underestimate my Roomba, but seriously. Trust is huge E, -E with money. What's stopping <laughs> these bots from just being like sneakier ways for companies to get us? That's why the control part is key. And the paper talks about this too. It's not about blindly trusting some algorithm, right? It's gotta be a two-way street. So what, I gotta learn to code my own bot or something? <laughs> Because I barely passed algebra. You're not alone there. No, it's about transparency. We've got to be able to see how these AI systems are thinking, literally. So no more of that black box stuff. Money goes in, advice comes out, no idea what happened in between. Exactly. Imagine you ask your bot, why this investment, huh? And it can actually tell you, like in plain language, the why behind it. And then what if I don't like it? I can like tweak the settings, tell it to try again. Exactly. Change the goals. Even ditch that bot entirely for a different one. You're in the driver's seat. So it really, I was like, I don't know, having a financial advisor, but one that actually explains stuff yeah. and maybe has less of those hidden fees they don't tell you about. And just like you check a human advisor's credentials, right. right? Here, you're looking at certifications, regulations, have these AI systems been audited, all that. So it's not that banks vanish, it's more like they got to up their game. Transparency, trust, those are going to be the big things. Because it's not just about the numbers anymore. Hmm. Right? That whole financial well-being idea we talked about. Right. Which, to most people, still just means more money. Sure. But it's more than that. It's the feeling of being in control of your money, having options, knowing you're set for the future. That's got to come to the banks, too. Not just the bots. Man, this is a lot to take in. So if folks are listening, like, what do they need to do to get ready for all this? Honestly, stay curious. The more you understand how AI works, the better off you'll be. Ask questions, demand that transparency. Don't just hand over your cash blindly. This is your financial future we're talking about. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. Well, we've covered some serious ground today. AI taking over our finances, banks getting a makeover. Who knows what else is coming? Exciting times, that's for sure. No doubt. Big thanks to everyone for joining us on this deep dive. Keep those brains buzzing, and we'll catch you next time.